Let's picture ourselves here, waking up in the morning, being a little bit more not so much motivated by whatever is gonna happen in the day. And then you trying to dress up, getting up, taking your showers or whatnot. And then you're getting in front of your closet. Then something bad, and I say bad, happens. You don't know what to wear. Feeling stressed. Feeling bad, and you don't even have time to actually think about you being distressed and being stressed over it. You know what I mean? And not picking something out of sex just because you can't show yourself being naked. Throughout the day, you're just thinking about it and you're feeling not necessarily at your highest. And then all of that started with one tap. What should I wear today? Hello, people! Welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la mi canal. Konnichiwa, what is your channel? I hope you're doing fine today. It's another day, another me, and another video of me. I'm Lady Tomo, personal side coach, highly obsessed by helping creative women entrepreneurs uncover their personal style so that they can show up being confident in their lives and their businesses. Not making it a big deal, but still, it's a big deal here. So, yeah. Being that distressed and not being able to have a solution to it comes to a lot of you not feeling that good for the whole day. Let's get dive into why you have nothing to work. I'm gonna go by three main things here. All about the mindset. I feel like technical part of it could be easy to implement once you have the right mindset to it. You don't believe that you actually can put something together because the I have nothing to worry it's actually another way of saying I'm not feeling confident into something I can pull up together. What is a belief? A belief is something that we think it's true. It's almost a conviction. So when you say I have nothing to wear, it's actually a way to say that, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't even try to do it. Because the brain and the way you think about it, a way for you to just give up onto the thing altogether. It's not that I have nothing to wear, I actually have stuff to wear, but I don't know how to put them together. You have to work on your own belief. Being an entrepreneur, having your own business, or just having a life in general, goes by having purposes, goes by having goals. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you do, you have goals. When you wake up in the morning, you have a purpose. Even if that purpose is to just stay at home, Netflix and chill, you have a goal, but behind those goals, you have the belief that you actually can accomplish them, right? So when it comes to not knowing what to wear, you actually have a belief that you're never going to be able to pull up stuff together. You're never going to be able to pull up pieces together. Start with you believing in it first before actually getting into the reality of doing it. Believing in it, which in return is going to get you to take actions on that and which in returns is gonna get you the results of that. And those results, I don't want you to take them as having you to be able to pull up something together from the get-go because chances are you're gonna fail a couple of times. Ask help if you need to. Hello here? When you take actions, then it goes back to you because when you're gonna see the results, when you're gonna see that actually it worked, you're gonna do it even more. The brain is trying to put you in the comfort zone. You believing that you have nothing to wear so that you don't have to try it. That's how the brain works here. That's all the brain. That's all the brain. Not going to produce any results. And because of that, you're going to be even more stuck there. You're not going to be able to build up that confidence, which in return is going to make you lose opportunities. Relationships, love, your life, living it to the fullest. No, it's all over the place. <laughs> that they love this, they love that, they love a lot of things. Being all over the place, trying to fit into a box because society expects you to be that way and you not being yourself, it creates all of this confusion. What we call a cognitive dissonance. So when you're gonna wear stuff, I feel like it's not a part of you because you're wearing so many things, the vices, you should wear that, you can wear that, and your families, your friends, your environment, all of that, they're gonna tell you to wear something a certain way, <laughs> which sometimes is not necessarily your way of wearing them. Remember back in the days when I was trying to create my own personal style and I was so scared because I was fearing to be so judged because my own personal style had nothing to do with most people 
living around me. When you see yourself being that different, you're even more scared of actually putting yourself out there. You're gonna keep hiding yourself until a moment where you're gonna explode. <laughs> like enough is enough. And that's probably where you're gonna have your major breakthroughs. You're gonna be like, uh-uh, not about this life anymore, I want to be me. Having nothing to wear is actually you being all over those places. Keep it silent and listen to your own voice. Confusion you're having is gonna be represented in your wardrobe. Which leads me to the third reason why you have nothing to wear. Your own wardrobe is not functional. Because when you're trying to adopt trends, even if they're not a part of you, and you're trying to adopt certain pieces that you think you like, you're not sure, but you still get them, you still purchase them, you still buy them. All of that don't create a coherent story that makes sense in your wardrobe. Because you are allowed to have multiple styles. It's just up to you to be able to know how you can combine them. I'm gonna have a video on to how you can be able to mix up styles because we have a lot of creatives here they're just confused on to how they can pull them together I feel like they have to have one style only which is totally false gonna get into that on that video so definitely subscribe to the channel to know more about it a lot of pieces but that just don't make sense together you know we present a dream life that in reality is just not a part of your life at all or there are things that you probably like but maybe they're not a part of you yet if you're not aware of it you're gonna look at your closet and still feel like you have nothing to wear because at the end of the day you have nothing to wear that is a part of you at that moment being able to see my client's wardrobe tells me so much and so much about the stories about the lies about how they see their lives being now and in the future sometimes on current state of mind of that is represented in your wardrobe if you don't have a functional wardrobe ask yourself why this is a part of creating your personal style when you don't have that functional wardrobe you're wasting a lot more time you're not having any confidence at all because everything that you see doesn't even represent you so you're getting even more confused and then sometimes when you're listening to trends and whatever you're gonna see on TV you're gonna add up even more pieces to your own current wardrobe which at the beginning didn't even make sense to you so what's gonna happen? What do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna hate fashion or trends or whatever it's your story so you gotta claim it. You have to think about your story, whatever and however you want to showcase yourself to the world, but you have to think about the pragmatic side of it, your lifestyle. What is your current lifestyle is like? I say your wardrobe should represent your reality, not your dream life. You have to think about your goals, get the pieces and build up a wardrobe around all of that. So I hope it was helpful. Let me know down below. What does it look like for you in the morning? Are you the one to be able to have that outfit on the go and be like, I know what to wear and I'm gonna crush it? Or are you the one being like, I have no idea. And if that's the case, I have a free 30 chat minute discussion right down below. There's a link for it. And I would love, 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 adore to get to know you more. Leave your comments down below if you have anything else you want to share with the world and share with me. I'll be more than glad, more than excited. And you know me, always, always. I hope you liked it. Of course, I'm gonna see you on my next video. Until then, follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of my world when it comes to the self-confidence, when it comes to anything where you want to feel happy from the inside before giving it to the world. Being the best version you can be and be able to use the clothes to amplify all of that. You know what I mean. So, until then, like I say all the time, le mot de la fin, je le dis toujours, smile because it's free and contagious. Bye.